I'm sharing with you how to edit the day in the life reels that you see on social media from creators like Ron Doug, Lo, and me because I post these a lot and I'm planning on posting a lot more on my Instagram. So if you want to see more of those, go ahead on my Instagram, link it down below and give me a follow. My name is Chris Reset and I run the Takeover Shop where it's editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. And like I said, today we're going to be sharing how to actually edit the day in the life videos. And we're going to start off by going over the overview of like my workflow before we go ahead and get inside of Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started right now. So the first thing, once you go ahead and film all of your content for a day in the life videos is you want to go ahead and import, import all of your footage into the sequence properly um, in order. So import your footage in order, just like so. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that, so don't worry about it. And then you guys wanna go ahead. Next step is doing um, your cuts. Third step is adding overlays, like transitions. And then fourth step is adding your voiceover. Fifth background to music. And then the last step is just adding your captions and then you're done. So these are the six steps that I'm going to be showing you guys. So you guys know exactly what we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and hop straight into Premiere Pro right now. All right. So first things first, when you go ahead and have your footage imported into Premiere Pro, you guys want to go ahead and sort your footage. So the way you do that is you go to this sort icons and you want to go over here to name and then it'll be selected in order. And then you go to automate to sequence this little button right here. If it doesn't show up, just kind of stretch it out a little bit and then um, automate to sequence and then and you're gonna go over here to sort order sequentially and then copy these settings just like so and then hit okay and then it'll actually go ahead and place it in order so 176 177 178 and that's like pretty much the majority of the editing now all you have to go ahead and do is just make cuts like showing exactly the action that you're taking but before we go ahead and do that let's go ahead and find like a clip that just like this and then we want to go to effect controls. We want to change it to scale to 50 because I have a 4K camera and then we're working in 1080p timeline. You want to go to rotation, negative 90. Now your camera might already have the gyroscope settings set. So that way you don't have to do this, but unfortunately I have to do that. Then let's go ahead and color grade our footage. So I'm going to go ahead and use my takeover preset pack. So I'm going to use the my signature LUT. I'm going to drag and drop it just like so and then that looks pretty good to me and then we're going to go ahead and select all of these options so motion and lumetric color control c and then we're going to control v for the entire video so as you can see everything should be proper set the right way looking good so now you just go ahead and start making your basic cuts so basic cuts take a long time um, depending on how much footage you have or a short time depending on how little of footage you have so i'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and do basic cuts and for me honestly you don't even have to be too crazy with it just like literally just like that let's see uh give me walking up like you really don't even have to really pay too much attention to like what's really going on you could really just scrub through okay turn on the light want to do that and it's all about just like finding those little key moments and just cutting to them, letting it play for like literally half a second or two seconds, if that, and then you just move on to like the next little segment. So that's got like a decent amount of movement and you just go ahead and do that for the entire video clip. Now I've already cut this entire day in the life. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste that into this timeline. So now we have our basic cuts. This is what it's looking like. As you can see, the cuts are just looking pretty decent, looking pretty clean. I left the sound in there as well, just because it kind of adds like an extra layer um, with the actual video. And now let's go ahead and add our transition overlays. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Premiere Composer plugin, which by the way, this is free for you guys to use. Just go ahead, look up Premiere Composer. You'll be able to find it. It's spelled out right there. So you can pause the video, get it. And I'm gonna go to my overlays. Actually, I'm gonna go to the CR vertical overlays. These are paid from Creative Ryan. So if you guys wanna go buy those, go ahead. I will not be giving these out for free, um, not mine to give out. So now just drag and drop it into your timeline. And let's say I want one right here. I'm gonna go over here to effect controls, overlay. I'm gonna make it a screen and then I'm gonna make it a scale 50 because these are 4K and we'll see how that looks. Fire. So that looks good. And I'm just gonna control C and control V wherever I want the next overlay to be. So we want it to be like right here, just for S and G's and for tutorial sake, just like that. Maybe throw in another one right here. Fire. Now with the overlays, you just kind of want them to be um, kind of the uh, the glue between the cut, if that makes sense. So the cuts right here, so you kind of glue it together like that by bridging the gap. And then you just go ahead and do that for the entire rest of the clip. Now moving on to step number four, which is adding the voiceover. Now there's different ways to do this. You can go ahead and record an external recording software if you want. But the way you set it up is you first things first, you want to go over here to Premiere Pro. You want to go to 
settings you want to go to audio hardware and you want to make sure this is your mic setup so for me it's usb audio codec which for this tutorial we're actually not going to do because it'll screw up my recording um, but you just hit okay on your mic just to double check that it's working and then let's say you want to start recording the way that i like to do it is i like to set my endpoints right here and then just like start right here and then it'll give you a three second countdown so voice over record and you just go right here and then this is where you would be talking, um, kind of doing the like voiceover about your day, what's going on, etc. Then you stop it. It'll have the audio form right here. And what I like to do is I like to just throw my audio preset on there and like it sounds perfectly fine, like it sounds goaded. Um, but of course we didn't film anything or record any audio. So that's not really gonna be anything to show you guys. But that's sort of the process for voiceovers. And let's say you wanna keep recording or you messed up, you just cut it and then you hit set your endpoints right here. And then you could use another voiceover track below it so it'll do that same three second countdown so yeah i'm gonna be talking talking about the day in life yeah you know doing some espresso doing whatever doing my thing and you stop it and let's say you messed up on the end you just cut it and you can go back to that first track set the end point right here and you can just start recording from this point on and you just keep going back and forth between the two tracks three tracks four tracks however many tracks you want to do i like to just bounce between the two just to keep my timeline clean and if you ever make music it's pretty much the same thing as like punching in i guess so that's the technique for recording your voiceovers now let's go ahead and add some background music so for you guys for background music you guys could pick any type of music that you want i'm gonna go ahead and go with a sofago song that i really enjoy i'm just gonna drag and drop it into my timeline just like so you guys can download music on youtube i personally don't do that at all because that would get me banned if I did on YouTube. When you guys throw in your music track, you're gonna notice that it's gonna be really loud what is up, guys? Welcome back. and be really muddy with your voice, meaning that your voice and the music track is clashing together and like it just, you can't hear what you're actually saying. So the way that you compensate for that, you guys could go to my pack, use the low pass preset that I have on there, or you guys can type in low pass and then there's gonna be a low pass uh, filter and then you just go over here and you just play with the options. What is up, guys? So it sounds good. The lower the uh, Hertz is, the more muddy it's gonna sound, but the higher it is, the the more clear it's gonna sound. So let's do a thousand. Fire, now that's dope. I'm liking that. So let's hit G on the actual music just to make it a little bit quieter. So I'm gonna go like negative five decibels. Sell digital products all the time. So today I'm actually starting off. Then let's go G and then negative five more decibels. So it's a negative 10 right here. Okay, that's perfect. So that's how you add your background music, low pass filter and using the gain settings to really get it dialed in. Now, the last and final step is adding your captions. Now I have a whole video dedicated to captions, but let's just go ahead and show you guys essentially the, the process. So that way we can go ahead and get you guys started on editing your own stuff. So go to transcript or you wanna go to transcribe sequence. Um, I already transcribed, so this is why it looks all funky. So just transcribe, it'll give you a setting just like this. You wanna go to audio track mix, um, especially if you're doing the multi uh, layer recording just like I did. So I do mix and then um, yeah, transcribe into out point only, or you can leave it as is depending on what you have in your timeline. Now it's gonna go ahead and transcribe for you, meaning it is listening to your audio and then transcribing it into actual, you know, writing. So this will take a couple seconds depending on your performance of your computer. Now we go over here to create captions. For short form content, I like to do nine um, or 10 sort of length and characters, minimum duration as low as you can get, and then lines, single. Double lines, honestly, to me look pretty cheesy, so I don't do it. Now, for you to format the text and captions the way you want to, you go to essential graphics, you select all your stuff, and then you just go either center or wherever you would like to place it. And then you can change the font the font that I use in all of my videos, I get this question asked all of the time, so I'm gonna share some sauce. It is Akira Expanded. Um, feel free to use it. It's free, defont.com, pretty far. So go ahead and do that. Play around with the settings to which you think looks good for your videos. For me personally, I like to just add a little bit of a shadow, just add some separation, but I don't want it too, too dark so people can actually see it that well. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just hit play it through. What is up, guys? Welcome back. So it's fire. 
Sweet. So you guys, well, that is everything that you guys need to know for creating a day in the life video. This is exactly how I do it and how many other people create their own day in the lives as well. If you guys learned something from this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below as it really does help me and this channel grow a lot. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for your support. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Remember, take action, take over. Peace.